Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Mo and in this video, I wanna be providing an update into the portfolio that my wife and I have built, uh, currently sitting just uh, close to that $700,000 mark and uh, a few key updates of why I've been missing in action in, from the YouTube channel for the past little while and some updates for our family. As well, I will be touching on why we are every single day buying shares of the XEQT, our favorite ETF and why we are doing it on a daily basis. Let's get into it. All right, as you can see here on the screen, this is a, a look into the Blossom app uh, where I have my portfolio and my wife's portfolio actually connected uh, and linked for my wife's. I'm actually manually entering the amount of shares that she has just so that this uh, portfolio size is showing accurately. As you do see, notice here, we have a total of 19,918 shares of XEQT, which is, as I mentioned, is our favorite uh, ETF, uh, iShares Core Equity Portfolio. Why we love XEQT so much and in fact have put over $600,000 invested in it. The main reason is the fact that with XEQT, we are getting 100% exposure to the stock market globally and it allows us for easy diversification. Not only we are getting exposure to Canadian markets, but also to the US market, international developed market, as well as the emerging markets. All in one through this simple ETF, which has a very low fee as well. Um, as you do see, we currently have a total value of uh, investments of $624,754. Our shares of X equity are currently up by 17%. Next big holding that we have relatively is VTI or Vanguard Total Stock Market Index ETF. Uh, and this is offered by Vanguard, as the name suggests, through VT, uh, VTI, you're getting 100% exposure to the total U.S. stock market. So, and we are share, holding the shares of VTI in our RSP account. Um, this way, we will uh, actually be able, based on the tax treaty that exists between Canada and U.S., uh, avoid the 15% withholding tax on any dividend income received from VTI. And lastly, we have sh some shares of VT uh, or Vanguard Total World Stock Index ETF through VT. Um, we are getting exposure to the entire stock market globally. VT is almost equivalent to XEQT in the sense that it also provides you exposure to Canada, US, international developed markets as, as well as emerging markets, many, many countries we are talking about as part of those group. Uh, but with VT, your exposure to Canada is a lot less, only about 3% or so, which as we know, Canada accounts for roughly around 3% of the uh, world economy and the stock market overall globally. But with XEQT, we have a little bit more exposure to um, you know Canadian markets. Um, we currently have 153 shares of VT over a total value of $24,000 Canadian. But both VTI and VTI are in US dollars and available in our RSP accounts. Uh, I apologize if you hear some um, a little bit of crying behind the scene. Uh, that's actually one of the reasons, uh, main reason, in fact, that I've been away from the YouTube channel. Uh, the my wife and I have actually had recently our newborn baby, our first baby born, and she's doing very well. She was in hospital at NICU for for several weeks, but she's done quite better, and now she's doing fine, and she's actually been discharged and is with us at home. Definitely. Um, have experienced a lot of those sleepless nights and you know as a first time parent really going through a lot of those um, you know first and learning uh, with our child as we go through this experience so I apologize if I haven't been really active on YouTube but uh, have been really uh, trying to be much more active at least on Blossom in fact you, some of you who are following me on Blossom you've noticed through my post talking about some of the key milestones um, such as you know the birth of our baby and the fact that she had her first uh, dividend income as well received uh, at when she was just turning one month old, as well as um, other things such as, you know, opening our, our ESP account for her um, and all of that jazz. In fact, this post, I just want to bring it to your attention. First dividend at one month old, uh, had one of the highest interactions and kind of likes on Blossom, close to 690 um, likes, 97 comments and 61,000 views in terms of engagement. So that's something um, that I'm super proud of and super happy that a lot of investors here in Canada, as well as uh, US are resonating with the content. And thank you for your support here on Blossom. If you haven't uh, checked out Blossom, it's an amazing community of investors here in Canada and US. You can interact with other like-minded individuals, learn from them, as well as you know, um, you know, share your own experiences, connect your brokerage accounts and see how you're doing and learn about your, um, your uh, investment journeys through the support of others. And there are, of course, some learning materials such as good courses offered uh, on Blossom as well and other uh, helpful contents and posts that you can see um, shared here uh, on Blossom as well.
with that, uh, I'm not going to drag this video too, too much. I want to make sure I go back and spend a, little, a lot more time actually with our newborn baby. But thank you so much for everyone for your support and, um, you know, for watching the channel, for subscribing to our channel, and as well as, you know, providing your comments, whether here on uh, YouTube or on Blossom. It really means a lot to me and really um, uh, inspires me to one wanting to make these videos even despite the fact that right now I'm a lot busier than before. Uh, I think that's just an understatement if I say that and uh, want to still continue to produce quality contents for you. If you have any question whatsoever about uh, investing in the stock market, um, investing in XEQT or other ETFs or for that matter, let me know in the comment section below. I just want to wrap it up by adding that the fact that we do invest in the market daily is not necessarily just because of the dollar cost averaging. Yes, of course, investing daily allows us to take advantage of dollar cost averaging because the share prices for ETFs or stocks can go up and down every single day. So as you buy into the market every single day, you buy some shares at higher prices, some at lower prices without you knowing. So you just set a total amount that you're comfortable buying and continue with that. So it's really uh, very good to have dollar cost averaging. But that's honestly not the main reason because there are other folks that actually do invest maybe weekly or even monthly. And still there is a rhythm and discipline to it. And I think that is good too. Uh, don't think that you have to necessarily invest daily or weekly or whatsoever. As long as there is a pattern and I think you're committed to it and don't panic sell and stay the course, I think that's more important. For us, the main reason we are investing daily is because we want to build that uh, financial discipline and habit. To us, investing daily allows us to uh, have that reflection and uh, kind of satisfaction that you know every single day we are doing something, albeit even small, be it like $30, $50, or even $80 every day investing to invest for our future, to invest for our family, to invest for our uh, the future of our, uh, our, our family and our kids. Um, and with that, I'm going to definitely wrap the video at this time, and I hope to see you all next time.